What's going on dudes? Do you love burning tires, but you hate burning money? Well, thankfully I may have a solution with just a flick of a switch. Before we get started, let's do a quick overview of some of the parts that I have. Like I said, I am missing my relay that I ordered from Amazon. They ended up sending, well, they shipped me the wrong package. It wasn't even my order at all. So I sent it all back and I ordered a new relay. That'll be here tomorrow. So I'll be taking care of the relay part tomorrow, but I'll still run all the wiring and stuff inside the car and blah, 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 you know, to the water pump and hopefully have things tested before tomorrow. So, that's about where I'm at right now. Let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is prep the water pump mounting brackets right here. The holes are a little too small. These Allen bolts I have are a little too large. I can't fit in the hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enlarge that. All right, all the holes are now bored out and the Allen bolt fits. So I wanted this to be symmetrical as possible, but it's not gonna happen and that's okay. So the water pump is gonna be mounted on top of the water box right here, as you can see. So that means I'm going to be drilling through the top of the water box, and then I'm going to add rib nuts so that I can bolt everything down and it'll be somewhat of a clean, you know, all in one unit. That's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, let's go ahead and tape off the area that I'll be drilling at. Perfect. Next is I want to mark my holes to where I'll be drilling at. This will even fit down in there. Oh, that needs a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, I can't get the fourth one on there because something is wrong with this bracket. It's not really, you know, level. So three is gonna be fine. It's not gonna be under any like extreme stress to where I need to have four bolts in there. So we'll just do three for right now. So now I got all the holes drilled out that I needed. I'm gonna remove this, pull the tape off, make a mess. And now we're gonna go grab my uh, rib nut tool. Now I got our step bit. We're gonna make this hole just a little bit bigger, and then I'll be able to insert my rib nut. So the next step I gotta do is, since this is a 110% drift car, this little uh, spare tire thingamajig right here needs to go. So I'm gonna cut this out. So I have the front two kind of rectangular brackets just sitting there. This is where I want the water box. So now I'll mark the position for the L brackets on the water box on the back of this wall right here to figure out uh, where I need to start drilling holes. Now I am eyeballing this thing. So I'm just gonna sit a little right there. This probably isn't gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, this ain't gonna work at all. Okay. It won't be perfect, but they'll get the job done. I got the little holes marked. So let's get to drilling.
So I just snug the bolts up with my you know, fingers just to make sure everything was somewhat aligned. But I'd say that is good enough right now, especially for just being you know finger tight. Next, I need to remove parts, well, I guess all the rear interior because I need to drill some holes and run some more of these uh, you know, tubing to the wheel wells. I can't really explain my thought process on this. I'm just kind of winging it but I am on the passenger side between the coilover and the filler neck right here for the gas. So I'm just gonna drill somewhere around up here as a pilot hole. And then from the inside, oh, you can't see that, my bad. There you go. So then from the inside, I will uh, widen the hole out to where I can fit my copper tube through it and then see what happens. So here's another thing that I did. It may be a little hard to see, but I marked the copper tube it's about seven times so I can drill little holes in it. And that's gonna act as sprinklers to spray water down on the tire. Final update before I have to unfortunately go to work, but I got the copper tubing exactly where I want it. It looks pretty good, if you ask me. Originally, what I was doing was an absolute mess, but this is coming out to be pretty nice. And this ain't, that's play on the end, but it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, I'll finish the rest up tomorrow. For right now, I'm going to run my power wire at least, so then I can just do the switch and the relay and stuff tomorrow. This will be our ground trigger wire. Now I'm gonna take my wire fishing, wire thing, cable, whatever you wanna call it. I needed. So now I got my wires in the back. Didn't have to remove too much interior to get it done either. So got my constant from the battery and my ground that's going to be connected to the relay to the switch and the switch will be grounded somewhere up there. And that should take care of the wiring for right now. There's still a little bit more that I gotta do but that should only take maybe 30 minutes an hour tops tomorrow and then we'll be done. I'm finally home and I went straight to work. So I got the relay mounted up on the water pump, got it wired. All I gotta do now is add my ground switch near the center console area, pour some water in it, and then test it, see if it works. Tap into the ground. Hole is now drilled. Switch is wired up. Let's put two and two together. Everything is looking pretty good. I'm about to add some water into the tank. 